Naruto! Chapter 522 Greetings Earthlings, welcome to Fenebra World and this is my review of Naruto Chapter 522 titled We Died So in this chapter, a little bit of the stuff that goes on I don't want to get too in depth, it's Christmas and I'm doing this for you guys or whatever but uh, basically it starts off where Kakashi is telling Haku that basically when Zabuza died he didn't die thinking of Haku as a tool. He actually cared for him. And um, actually, it makes Haku cry himself. He starts shedding tears. And then Zabuza lectures Kakashi for blabbering about it. Like, you're not supposed to say stuff like that or whatever. Um, uh, the fights are going on. And right before everything starts, Zabuza tells Kakashi his final words. Stop me by any means necessary. I died as a human already. So, you know, automatically, Zabuza is, like, losing control. You know, he really don't have much control. And he's like, stop me by any means necessary. Kabuto is basically saying that uh, Haku and Zabuza are stubborn or whatever, but I'm going to get my control on them. They're not going to, you know, get away with it. They, they, I'm going to control these two or whatever, re regardless. So, basically, they, they, they trying, but at the end of the day, Kabuto is going to control them because he has the power right now. Kabuto states that he is now gaining more control over people. Uh, he's actually starting to control their emotions and stuff like that, so he could cut that out of the way as well. Little by little, he's gaining more control over these people, which is a dangerous thing because, you know, Kabuto with more control, these people that don't even want to do these things are going to end up doing them anyway because Kabuto's, you know, controlling them. Jugo and Sugetsu have escaped from jail, but Sugetsu can't find his sword or whatever. Zabuza and Kakashi are locked in a struggle, you know, in a fight or whatever, and then Kabuto takes the next step and having Gadi and Pakura summoned. Several fights are going down or whatever, so this chapter was, you know, heavy. It had a lot of material in it, stuff like that, really nicely done. My thoughts on the chapter, I loved, again, I know every week I keep saying this, but the Haku and Zabuza stuff, and for Haku, after all these years and episodes and everything, to finally know that in the end Zabuza died thinking of him as a person and showed his, you know, emotion for him or whatever, and for Haku to finally hear this, that was awesome, I think these matches are getting so crazy, it's just epic, um, it's crazy now that Kabuto could control their emotions, so that, I, I'm like, whoa. So now he could even cut, like, you know, if they're feeling bad, like, he's literally going to have total control very soon. It's because of um, Orochimaru's uh, chakra is, like, little by little getting him more stronger and more capable. And that's just crazy. Um, I thought the chapter was awesome. I think Kishimoto continues to go in the right direction with this manga. It's not like a... You know, ever since 515, he's been going little by little. There was a setback for a week or two. But then, like, last week and this week, he's continuing to go hard with it. And um, I'm loving it. I'm looking forward to the next chapter. Most likely, next chapter, we're going to have um, maybe the, the finale with the Haku and Zabuza stuff. Maybe Kakashi's finally going to get him. Uh, it's just going to be more crazy battles. This next week is just going to be even more epic. Um, Looking forward again, or I, I don't believe it's going to be next week. I think there's going to be a few weeks in between because I think they're releasing this really early or something like that. But we're going to enjoy it anyway. I'm looking forward to the next one. I think the next chapter is going to be awesome. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to the next one? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm from Neverworld. Thanks for watching, people.